because most of the business are now for La La run by Latinos and now Asians start running, start opening stores and stuff, restaurants. So we are, I think in that way we are different. Most of the towns in Iowa that we have different cultures and yeah. and seems like everybody get along. That's it's the main thing. <laughs> Because first when I arrived, uh, I know like only this shop now. I mean for Asian people we don't have much, but now we have uh, here in front of the shop there was a Burmese tin store, so whatever we could get there. It, we're, the Latinos are down now, and now it seems like the Burmese, that's the population that is coming into town. Um, now, and I think a lot of it might have to do the way get it. Tyson like goes to these countries to recruit people, and so like right now it seems like they're concentrating on the Burmese people and bringing them here. The way that they've explained it, it's like their country is so. It's had a revolution, or not a revolution, I mean, they've had an uproar the way I've been told. And so like these people that were like fine, upstanding, prominent people like have become nothing because of this. And so now they're like having to start over. And so like wherever they can get a job, they're taking advantage of it and getting their, their restart in life, it sounds like. When I get here, uh, Burmese, People are uh, Asian, only five people because uh, now this town it look like Asian town, so it's <laughs> a Now it looks like an Asian town, you said? Yeah. Now uh, Asian people, uh, Burmese people, about 500 people now. <laughs> when I come here, uh, me and my uh, four, my friend, and five guys, uh, <laughs> we get to here. That's fine. I think it's fine to come over here, but I don't like it that they don't work in. The old people, my relation was German. They come in, they didn't, if they didn't speak English, they didn't say anything. You know, it's just the way things change. This, most of them been here two or three years. They're like us. It's the ones that keep coming in, you know, keep pushing their business and stuff and put the signs up. and their language and you don't even know what they're saying, you know. They're good workers, a lot of them. The women are really good workers. I worked with a lot of them up there at RAD. They, of course, they're second, third generation. That makes a difference, too. Well, I think Latinos always wanted to do their own business, you know. They always dream to be your own uh, employee. Not always can, but we like to, we like to produce. We, we come to this country to produce, to progress, not just to, I mean, we, we, we got to start working for somebody, but most of us got the heart to risk everything you have to make it grow. A lot of times don't work, but... talk about special sounds, right? Special sounds you need to memorize. So let's see. Let me look. Ooh. Book. 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 Ooh, ooh. Book. Book. World. E. Believe. A. We have really had to work very diligently to get them to talk to us. They wanted to come in and they wanted to listen, but, you know, hi, how are you? It took me a year to get good, thank you. A year, really, a just year. for that? And now I can walk up and down the hall and I get, good morning, good morning. I'm like, yes! <laughs> so that has been a very eye-opening to us as a staff 